Nah, <laughs> you knew it's coming. You knew it's coming. But you're not at fan, are you? Nah, maybe I wouldn't be in there. <laughs> you look like a fear. I was like, yeah, I get mistaken for that quite a lot as well. And then he went off. Welcome to another episode of Pick That One Out in association with Monster. We'll be putting two players to the test in our multiple choice quiz. Let's have it. Taking part today is Jack Stevens and Theo Walcott. Right, welcome. Let's get you started with a little warm up energizer question. You've started a band and need a lead singer, but there are only three applicants. Who are you choosing? Nathan Teller, Adam Armstrong, or Nathan Redmond? Uh, Redders? Redders is a bit of a showman, isn't it? Yeah, I'll go for Redders as well because he can dance. He's got the as well. character and he to do. He can it. dance quite well, can't he? Yeah. He's got the front he's got the front man presence that yeah. you need. Who is the best singer in the team? Oh, would you say? Is it? I was yeah. going to say no, you. Longy, comfortably. You got, yeah. you got a bit. Yeah, you got no. a good singing voice. <laughs> you did that night. Um, <laughs> yeah, Longy's good. Guitar as well, isn't he? Longy's got it all. What's your, what's your kind of go to if you were singing? Um, what would be your go to track? Oh, I'd probably go Brown Eyed Girl. Would you? Yeah. True. How's that go? No. <laughs> <laughs> you knew it's coming. <laughs> you knew it's coming. Right, three teammates offered to cook you dinner on the same night. Where are you going for the best food and entertainment? Is it Armando Brogers? Tino Livramento or Liancos? Oh, I know where I go. I'll go Lianco. Yeah, yeah, I'll go Lianco. I feel like he could just sort of indulge me in his sort of cuisine. Yeah. To be fair, if you go to Broge or Tino's, they're going to both be in the same place, isn't they? <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know how I could deal with them all night. Just get beans on toast at their place yeah. as well, to be honest. So Lianco? Yeah, yeah. Lianco, yeah. yeah. What would he cook you? What do you reckon? What's his kind of signature yeah. dish, you think? I don't know. So that would, I, I can imagine it would be Pretty tasty, some a bit some pasta Brazilian maybe. Dish no, something. I don't think it'd be, yeah, it'd be more Brazilian based. I think it'd be a lot of options, I feel. Yeah. yeah a lot of food. options, a lot of food, a lot of meat. Yeah. yeah, it sorts out. Brilliant, Jess. Fraser Forster has asked you to get him a new pet, but the pet shop only has three options. Which are you choosing? A micro pig, a parrot, or a snake? <laughs> Such a friendly well, question. I'd get him a parrot, because yeah. that would do his head in. Fraser likes his. Is, he likes being on his own, quiet. Yeah. I'd get him a parrot because that would wind him up. I'd have to agree with that totally. And as well, yeah, the just... parrot probably wouldn't pick much up, would he? Because he's quite quiet, <laughs> Fraser. You know I mean? so... Would that word? <laughs> yeah. The quietest parrot going. Yeah. yeah. I'll go that as well, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Good choice. Now you've made all your substitutions and a goalkeeper is taken off injured. Who's going in goal? Is it Jan Bednarik, Musa Ginempo, or Jack Stevens? Who's going in goal? See, like, I think you'll be really good in goal, but I would just love to see Musa with a pair of gloves on. <laughs> I'd love to see Musa in goal. I think it'd be carnage. Yes. I mean, I wouldn't want to be on the pitch if he's in goal, but, but I think just for the entertainment value, you totally. have got to get Musa with the gloves on. Really. Probably try and dribble past <laughs> yeah. everyone, wouldn't he? Yeah. Okay, who shouldn't be allowed to control the music in the dressing room? Mohamed Salasu, Armando Broja, or Moy Elonusi? I've not Choice. heard Moy's. I wouldn't know what he'd like, to be honest, uh, Moy. I, I'd trust him more than Rose with the music, I think, so. <laughs> yeah. Who does take control at the moment in the dressing room? Oh, For For Forbes, For Forbes does it sometimes. Does he? Kit Man yeah. does it, yeah, so. Um, What's he coming with, a bit of R&B? Well, well, they get to the stadium before us, don't they? So they, I think when they're setting up, Forbes will put his on. And then it's just how long that, that just lasts, leave it on. really. Redders sometimes has enough. and. What, sticks his on. What kind of tunes are we talking? Like, are they uh, kind of music oh, to get bad. you up or is it chill? Forbesy. Nice. Yeah. Shockers. Yeah, mixture, is it? oh, isn't shockers. it? You could go from like classical to like R&B. We played, we, we, we played that, that was January, I think, and uh, <laughs> one of his Christmas songs come on, didn't it? There you go. <laughs> hey, see what I mean? That's how random it is. <laughs> Love it. Oh, Locking around the Christmas tree yeah, just before you're like, about to go yeah. out. All right, Forbesy, that's oh. enough now. Like, get that off. There's <laughs> <laughs> someone else have a go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. So you're going on a team paintballing trip. Which player do you want on your team? Musa Ginempo, Fraser Forster, or Stuart Armstrong? Paintballing. Who's going definitely to be a good ally? Definitely not Stu. Not Musa either. I feel like Musa will just hide in the bush somewhere. Fraser's yeah. a big target. Fraser is a big but target. But he's not scared of every, anything. <laughs> He'd run for a brick wall. Yeah. yeah. Just send him out first. <laughs> yeah. He can take all Call the paintballs. <laughs> And then you yeah, behind. It's gotta be, yeah, yeah, it's it's gotta be phrase. Definitely. Yeah, you can handle it. That's an easy one. You've paired up to open a restaurant in Southampton. What type of food are you cooking up? Chinese, Italian, 
fish and chips. <laughs> fish and chips, yeah. <laughs> I'll go with the fish and chips. You can't go wrong fish with that, can you? Fish and chips all day for me. Yeah. Cornish boy, I've got to have fish and chips. Yeah, I might but do I'll that. Be, it, I do like Italian. Yeah. I rule out Chinese, that's not really my, my cup of tea. No, but I'm not so sure. No, fish no. and chips, go fish and chips. Are you, uh, would you be gravy lads or, or curry sauce? What's the, uh, or mushy peas? What are you having as a side? Yeah, mushy peas. Mushy peas. Mm. Personally, I wouldn't have anything. I, would, I, could, I can handle mushy peas a little bit, but I like just fish, chips, salt and vinegar, done. No ketchup? Nah. No tartar sauce? Nah. Just keep it, no salt nonsense. Salt and vinegar. Salt and vinegar, yeah, done. no nonsense. <laughs> Fish and chips, yeah, not sausage and batter, not a, not nah, a saveloy. Fish and chips. Nah. Fish, just I've fish that and for chips. a long time. You're getting me quite angry for that now, <laughs> to be fair. Yeah. After this, we're going to get some. Yeah, going, yeah I might do. <laughs> Will Smallbone is asking for your career advice for life after football. He's considering three career paths, but which should he choose? Professional wedding DJ, ice cream van man, or WWE wrestler? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's three poor options for Will. <laughs> it's so poor. <laughs> <laughs> I think wedding DJ. Yeah. That come to my mind as well. Did it? Just, I can yeah. see that. Yeah, he's got long arms. He can. Has he? Has he? I don't know. <laughs> Do DJs have long arms? I don't know. <laughs> the decks. All the decks. They're over there. I could see him, front man. Yeah. With headphones on. Yeah, yeah. same. So you've got to spend a whole day in the body of a famous sports star. But who are you picking? Michael Jordan, Lewis Hamilton, or Usain Bolt? Well, I've been mistaken for Lewis Hamilton on quite a few times. And the other day, I was actually with my two sons, took them to a haircut, went into a little grocery store afterwards. Afterwards, and Someone said to me, Lewis, can I picture? I'm like, I don't think Lewis has got kids anyway, I don't think. Um, and he's definitely not where I live. He's in Bahrain right now. And he's like, oh yeah, of course. Like, you look like a Thea. I was like, yeah, I get mistaken for that quite a lot as well. <laughs> and then he went off. No. Um, yeah. I feel like it would be Lewis though for me, because I just feel like he just lives some mad. He's the main man, isn't he? Just driving as moment. fast as you can as well in a car. I think that'd be really cool to do. I mean, yeah, it's, it's not, the three options are pretty good. Yeah. They are. Uh, to Usain Bolt would be cool because he just eats chicken nuggets and then <laughs> his sport is like nine seconds. That's He's a cool done. dude as well, didn't he? Like, He's a cool dude. <laughs> That's not day. a bad job, is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He started playing football, I think, didn't he? He did. He was joined the football team, though. Big United fan, isn't he? Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah. nah, maybe I wouldn't be in there. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it, lads. Thank you so much for taking part. Good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you very much. Cheers, Thank man. you.